Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain analytical geometry, more specifically the circle with the center at the origin. And also how to determine the equation of the circle, show that a point lies on a circle and the equation of half a circle. This is lesson one of six. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website, onlinemaths.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Now the formula for the circle with the center at the origin is x squared plus y squared is r squared. Suppose P, the point x, y, is a point anywhere on a circle, and then r is always r units from the origin, uh, r means the radius, and then the origin is the point O, 0, 0. Then, from using the distance formula, we can say that OP squared is equal to X minus 0 squared plus Y minus 0 squared. And then X minus 0 is X squared plus Y minus 0 is Y squared. But we decided that OP is equal to R and therefore OP squared is equal to R squared. And then in the place of OP squared, we can substitute R squared. Therefore, the formula for the circle with the center at the origin is R squared equals X squared plus Y squared. Example one, determine the equation of the circle with center, the origin and radius four. So it's very important to note that our circle center is at the origin. Then the equation that we will use is x squared plus y squared is r squared. And then in r's place, we will substitute 4. r is the radius. Therefore, the answer for this or the equation for this circle rather is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Example two on the right hand side, determine the equation of the circle with the center, the origin and radius root seven. Now the correct formula to use is x squared plus y squared is r squared. In r's place, we substitute root seven and then root seven squared is just seven. Therefore, the equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 7. Next example. Determine the equation of the circle with center the origin and passing through the point negative 2, negative 4. So in the previous examples, I gave you the radius. Now I give you a coordinate. So what we will do is, in fact, we will find a value for r. So the formula that we're going to use is x squared plus y squared is r squared. And then the coordinate consists of an x and a y. In x's place, we will substitute negative 2 plus and in y's place, we will substitute negative 4 squared is equal to r squared. Therefore, we end with negative 2 squared is plus 4 negative 4 squared is 16 is equal to r squared. And then we can say 4 plus 16 is 20 is equal to r squared. And then the equation for the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And remember, we are so used to taking the square root here and making r the subject of the formula. But this is not the case since the formula has a r squared in so therefore the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. The next example determine the equation of the circle 
with seen to the origin and passing through the point root 2 and 1. Into the appropriate equation, x squared plus y squared is r squared. x's value is root 2, y's value is 1. We substitute in x's place root 2 squared plus in y's place 1 squared is equal to r squared. Root 2 squared is 2 plus 1 squared is 1 is equal to r squared. 2 plus 1 is 3 is r squared. Don't take the square root. We leave r squared and therefore the equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 3. Draw a graph of the following and show at least one other point. And then I give you the equation x squared plus y squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So what we will do is we will get this equation in standard form and the 25 will walk across. And it will become x squared plus y squared is 25. Then in order for us to sketch the circle, we need the radius. So now we will say r squared is equal to 25 and we will take the square root of 25 and r is equal to 5. So the radius is 5. Therefore, there's your circle with the origin, the midpoint and the radius 5. And there's a point on your circle. That's the x-intercept and it's the point 5 and 0. Example 2 on the right hand side, draw a graph of the following and show at least one point. There's your equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 8. So when we want to sketch the circle, we need the radius and we know that r squared is equal to 8. Then we will take the square root to find r and then r is root 8. And you don't have to give me the answer as a decimal. Root 8 is fine. Therefore, there's your circle with the midpoint, the origin, the radius root 8, and there's a point on your circle. That's the y-intercept. It's the point 0 and root 8. The point K, negative 5 and 12, lies on the circle with the center at the origin. Number 1. Determine the equation of the circle. So we will start with the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And then there's the only point we have, and it's the point negative 5 and 12, consisting of an x and a y. So we will use that point to find a value for r squared. In x's place, we substitute negative 5 squared plus in y's place, 12 squared equals r squared. That's what we're looking for. Negative 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared is 144. 25 plus 144 is 169 is equal to r squared. And don't take the square root here since the formula contains r squared. Therefore, the equation for the circle is x squared plus y squared is 169. Question 2 on the right hand side says show that the point L 0 minus 13 lies on the circle. Now remember when you want to show that a point lies on a circle, you will in the end use the formula and show me that the left hand side is equal to to the right hand side. On the left hand side you find x squared plus y squared and on the right hand side you find 169. So now you will take the point L that consists of x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 13. We will substitute into the left hand side. 0 squared plus negative 13 squared equals 0 squared is nothing plus negative 13 squared is 169 and then your left hand side is 169 which is also the right hand side 
Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And then we can say point L lies on the circle. Let's do another example. Point minus 2B lies on the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. Determine the values of B. So now we have the equation and we have this one point, negative 2 and B. And remember, a point consists of an x and a y coordinate. Therefore, in x's place, we substitute negative 2 squared, and then in y's place, we substitute b squared is equal to 13, and then we're going to solve b. Negative 2 squared is 4, plus b squared is 13. 4 walks across, it becomes negative, and then we say b squared is equal to 9, and then we don't want b squared, we want b. Therefore, we will take the square root of 9. And remember, when you add square root there, you have to add plus or minus. Therefore, B's value is plus or minus 3. I also want to show you that you can get half a circle. So when I give you the equation for the circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, and I'm going to make y the subject of the formula. Therefore, y squared is 16 minus x squared. And I take the square root to make y the subject of the formula. I end with y is plus or minus root 16 minus x squared. Then, when you take the positive one, then this is what the circle will look like. It's half a circle. And the radius here will be 4. And when you take y is equal to minus root 16 minus x squared, that is your circle, your half circle, with a radius of 4. We can also get half a circle with x the subject of the formula. So when I give you the equation x squared plus y squared is 25, we can say x squared is 25 minus y squared. Then, um, to make x the subject of the formula, we take the square root plus or minus square root of 25 minus y squared. Then, the circle, the half circle x is equal to plus root 25 minus y squared, that is the circle, with the radius 5. And x is minus root 25 minus y squared, that is your half circle, with the radius 5. Now you know everything there is to know about a circle with the center at the origin. If you click on the video in the right hand corner, you will be taken to this next lesson. That one will be on the circle with the center MAB. In other words, the center is not the origin.